Hey, this is Professor Homa. Welcome to EX10. And what we're going to do in EX10 is we're just going to put some Google fonts, some web fonts, into our web page. And we're going to use Google fonts for that. There's other methods to use fonts that are online, but we're going to use Google. And what I'm looking at right now is the Campus Racket online. Now, I, I laid this out initially, and just, just so you know, if you check out the Campus Racket, the April issue's out. And it is responsive, so you could kind of see how I made this responsive so that basically the body copy moves and once the logo gets to a certain point it flips and makes a smaller logo that doesn't have the side pictures on or the little icons and things like that so it's meant to kind of read in a phone the idea is that you could click on here and read you know read these articles on a phone nicely without having to worry about you know anything else but anyway back to the font thing I clicked on an article here called red white and blue vaccinations in America and if you check out the font here it's actually kind of a, it's a sans serif font it's not your typical Calibri or Arial a lot of times we use very generic fonts because they're available on everybody's computer and we don't want to specify a font that somebody doesn't have or you don't just want to leave it up up to up to chance so what we can do is we can specify a font and instead of using the generic ones that are on system fonts that are on everybody's computer you know uh, Georgia Times New Roman Cambria for the serif and Arial Verdania, Calibri for the sans serif, you could you can go and find any kind of font. Now there's different ways to do this. You could download fonts and you could you could put them on the server so that you can actually load them when a page loads, or you can use Google fonts, which is real easy to use. This font here I think is called Sinica or Signica. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but you could see that it's kind of a it's a more of a narrow narrower font and it's it's kind of a little bit lighter, so it's easier easier to read online if you're doing a lot of reading. So obviously being concerned about fonts is more of an issue if there's a lot more copy. If you have a blog or something like that, you might want to want to pick a nicer font than if you just, I just have a headline and just some copy. Um, but what we're going to do is, well, let me first take a look at this. Where I can actually find this font is if I go into my source. Now I'm in Chrome right now, and you could do this on any browser, but and go view source. But I'm going to go to view developer. I'm just going to do view source right now. And I'm going to look at the source for the page. And at the very top in the head tag, there's a link to my, my styles, which is the typical CSS style sheet. And then there's also another link that has an HTTP. So it's a full URL and it's to Google uh, APIs and it's to a, it's a CSS file and it's kind of specifying fonts. So it's, it's another CSS file that I'm borrowing from Google and then I'm, I'm going to load their fonts that they have loaded on their server and they'll go into my page. Now to actually put them in my page, they're not going to be here. This is where the link is and I'm specifying the fonts that I want. But then if I go into CSS, here's the CSS for this for this page too. Uh, you can see I'm just specifying body, I'm using font family, Sinica negative. You can see how it, it's in here. It's the first one on my list. I still left the other ones for whatever reason it didn't load or anything I still have my other fonts that are in there but Sinica negative is my first font that I'm going to use and I have a font weight of 300 that means it's a light font 400 is typically normal and 300 is a lighter font so I wanted to use a lighter font so I had to specify that by number also my H1 font I think well no I think that's the only one I use in here is Sinica negative but we're going to use a a headline font and a body font and we're just going to throw it into our dentist page and just use it in there just to just to get the feel of using Google fonts and we may try different ways to use it but we're just going to use the the Google method to start okay so what I'm going to do first I'm going to close this up and I'm going to go to Google and you could just go to google.com it's really easy to find here it is slash fonts google.com slash fonts that's all you have to do and you'll get to the Google font site and it's it's it takes a little getting used to it's not the easiest to navigate but again it's free that's the nice thing about it some other places like Adobe Typekit um, you have to you have to sign up and pay but for this it's free so you could use any font that you want and use it for free now you could search through the first thing you're gonna see on Google fonts is kind of this uh, you know browsing area and you can go over here and show all styles so if you want to see all the weights that are here which I do because I want to see that there's some light fonts actually the very first one on the list here has a lot of different weights of fonts it's open sans and it's real popular and it's listed by popularity so you know a lot of people use this font it's a nice font and as you go down here, if you have all the weights on, you could, you'll could you find a lot of popular fonts. You can see these are sans serifs in the beginning, open sans. The next one, as I see the name Roboto, I, I've used that one. That's a nice one, too, that has some nice light fonts. Maybe I'll even use that. 
And right now they're showing all categories of fonts. If I go over to this left side here where it has all categories, if I just wanted to look at serif I, or, or sans serif, for example, I'm going to turn off these. And that's why, like, if you need to turn these off as you go through them, as you look at some of these names at first, it may be easier to do that. You may kind of like the font that you see and then see what, what kind of styles they have. So I'm going to go through here. There's a, a condensed. Here's Source Sans Pro. And if I want to see this, um, I can kind of, I think I can open these up here and just look at these. That might be easier than looking at them all. But Source Sans Pro is a nice one. It has a nice kind of light here. It has a nice real heavy ultra bold. A 900 is like an ultra bold. Regular bolds like... Uh, like 700 and they also have italic so this is one I might use so let's say I want to use this one which one was I looking at here this is Source Sans Pro that's a nice font and what you could do is you could add to collection so I'm gonna click it here and add to collection you don't have to do anything with it yet but what you could do is you could check the different fonts that you want that I have in here from this collection because it usually checks the 400 but if you don't want the 400 you could uncheck that I'm gonna check the 300 right now or actually yeah, I'm going to check the 300, which is a light, and then I'll also maybe check a bold, which is a 700. And then I'll, I guess I'll do a light italic, so if I have any places like where I have it using an italic, I'll make sure I have a light italic too. Okay, so I'll look at that. So I added this to my collection, and I could choose these later, so I'll get a chance to look at these. They have review, and they have use, which it shows you exactly what to do. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go to... I'm going to go up here and I'm going to look for, I'm going to turn off sans serif and look at serifs. And I'm going to find a nice heavy serif. So I'm going to scroll through here and I could turn this off temporarily. And I'm going to scroll through here and here's Roboto Slab. And I'm just going to see what's here with Roboto Slab. And I like that. That has a nice, a nice heavy bold there. That might be something to check out. Roboto Slab. I'm going to add it to my collection. And I'm just going to check the bold 700 on here. And that's it. And then I'm done. I'm just going to use that for my for my headline instead of using Georgia. And I'm going to use my other one, whichever one that was called, the Source Sans Pro for my body copy. So I'm going to use those right now. And what I could do, you can review them, although there's not a lot to review. It's just going to show you some of these. But keep in mind, there's also this place here where, where it says Try and Typecast, where you can actually click and look at some of these fonts in here. It, it opens up in a kind of a preview window, and it'll show you the way your fonts look. You know, so if you wanted to see it, you see some body copy on screen, white on black, it's kind of a nice way to look at it. It's only showing the one weight right now, but it's kind of a nice way to kind of preview it a little bit. And you could close that window, but these are the ones I'm going to use. I'm just going to go to use right away. And what it'll do is it'll give you another chance to kind of add or, you know, choose the fonts you want. So I want a light 300, a light italic, and I just want a bold. That's all I want. I don't want a bold italic. I'm not using a whole family of fonts. And then my Roboto slab, I'm just using this bold 700 one. So those are the ones I'm going to use in here. And it tells you exactly what to do. You don't have, it'll check Latin um, as far as your, your character set. So you don't have to do anything with that. And then it basically says add this code to your website. Okay, so I'm going to add this code to my HTML file. And then I'm going to put these into my CSS. So I'll do that next. Let me take a break here and I'm going to do that next. And that should be it.